So now we have seen case of horizontal surface. In horizontal surface, along the surface, it's considered as x-axis. And perpendicular, the, uh, perpendicular to the surface, you consider y-axis. Now what happens if you rotate this x and y orientation by some angle of theta? Let's consider that you have rotated the orientation of x-axis and y-axis by some angle theta. You will get a new kind of orientation at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. Your positive x-axis will be at angle theta with the horizontal and y-axis perpendicular to your x-axis. Now this case is of inclined plane. Let's consider this example. Consider a horizontal surface inclined at an angle theta. Now you have an inclined surface at an angle theta. Along the inclined surface you have x-axis and perpendicular to that you have y-axis. Consider you have kept a mass m on that inclined surface. For solving this kind of problems you have to consider mass m as point mass. Once you consider it as point mass, weight of that mass that is m into g, g is acceleration due to gravity value 9.81 meter per second square. W equals to mg will act straight downwards. Then mg cos theta, mg cos theta will act perpendicular to the inclined surface. That is in negative y direction. That, that component will be given by f of y, mg cos theta. And along the inclined surface, you will get a component of mg sin theta. That will be your f of x. This happens in case of inclined surface. Let's take an example for more clear idea. In case you wanted to note those things, you can pause the video and note it. Okay, so let's take this example. For example, there's an inclined surface of 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. You have kept a mass M of 80 kgs on it. W, that is weight of that mass, M into G, is acting downwards. M into G. M is 80 kgs, G is 9.81. Multiplication of both gives me 784.4 newtons, acting straight downwards. Mg cos theta acts at an angle of theta, that is 30 degrees. So Mg cos 30 is your f of y, y component. f of y, y component, Mg cos 30. Along the slope, downwards acts Mg sin theta, that is your f of x. So let's calculate f of x and f of y. 784.4 into 1 by 2. That gives me 392.2 newtons. You can calculate with help of a calculator. mg is again 784.4 into root 3 by 2. So this is 392.2 into root 3. Value of root 3 is 1.713. That is 679.92 newtons. So, these are the values you get on resolution at an inclined surface. Thank you.